हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर व्यूअर्स टू द वीडियो ऑन सिंह कंडीशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द सिंह कंडीशन इंपॉर्टेंस एंड वाई सिंह कंडीशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन डिजोल्यूशन टेस्टिंग इन डिजोल्यूशन मेथड डेवलपमेंट and in the routine dissolution testing in qc first of all we will see the basics for sink condition when sink condition is achieved so if the volume of dissolution media is sufficient or such that it can dissolve or it can solubilize the amount of api that is three times of the dose strength or highest strength so in simple meaning if you are working on a tablet formulation or capsule formulation of paracetamol for example and if the dose of the paracetamol tablet is 500 mg so your media volume should be such that it can dissolve the 500 mg into 3 that is 1500 mg of the drug if dissolution media volume or dissolution media can dissolve 1500 mg of paracetamol then you can say that the sink condition is achieved the dissolution media volume dissolution media composition dissolution media ph has the great impact on to the sink condition achievement some drugs show ph dependent solubility so for those drugs you can select the media for qc release with the ph which can give you the sink condition for example if the drug is soluble in acidic ph only and it is insoluble at 4.5 and 6.8 and it is also insoluble in water then you can select the point on normal scl media as a qc release media because in that media you are getting the sink condition then for achieving and for understanding or demonstrating the achievement of sink condition you have to perform the solubility studies mainly the bcs solubility and saturation solubility of the api will help you to understand about the achievement of sink condition generally sink condition is very difficult to achieve for insoluble apis or the formulations which contain the insoluble api like bcs class 2 and bcs class 4 apis then sink condition is easy for soluble apis like the bcs class 1 and bcs class 3 apis because these apis are soluble and for bcs class 1 and 3 molecules sink condition is not a problem but for insoluble molecules it is difficult to get the sink condition achieved with the standard dissolution media volume and the standard dissolution medias so surfactants can use or surfactant can be used for achieving the sink conditions surfactant will help to solubilize more amount and that's why surfactants can be used for dissolution testing sink condition is desirable but not mandatory see if the sink condition is very difficult to achieve and if it is impossible to achieve the sink condition with the media volume or media capacity to dissolve three times of the api then you can go for the media which can dissolve 1.5x or 2x or 1x of the media 
but more justifications will be required for such resolution testing. Non sync condition is not desirable because dissolution may get affected due to solubility limitation and that is because of the media saturation once the media gets saturated then the more amount will not get dissolved and you will not get exact picture of the dissolution profile or the release profile in sync condition the dissolution will not be not be limited or not be related to the solubility because the media has the capacity to dissolve the api which is coming out of the formulation discrimination is required to be demonstrated for bcs class 2 and 4 molecules and it is very must but for soluble apis discrimination may be difficult to achieve and many of the times discrimination is not required also if you are performing the dissolution testing with standard dissolution conditions and you are giving the specifications for vcs class 1 and 3 molecules for 15 minutes and 30 minute with the q point of 80 percent then generally discrimination is not required to be proved but the efforts taken to prove the dis discrimination are desirable discrimination is also important from the point of view of solubility for bcs class 2 and 4 molecules as the dissolution will have the impact onto the bioavailability as the dissolution is the rate limiting step for these type of molecules then sync condition is required so that the complete release of drug or the extent of release is complete that means if you are putting a 500 mg tablet formulation that time if the media gets saturated at 300 mg then you will not get release of 200 mg simply if the media is able to dissolve three times or two times of the dose then you can get the complete release sync is also important for ivivc predictions simulations and ivivc correlations if the media is not able to dissolve the amount of api contained in the formulation then it is difficult to predict the in vivo behavior sync condition is required for dissolution similarity comparison for generic formulation to the reference formulation generally bioequivalent studies are required for the generic formulations also whenever you are asking for the biowavers that time dissolution studies and dissolution sync condition becomes very much important dissolution similarity is also considered before going for bioequivalent studies for generic formulations dissolution profiles are very much important before going for pilot bioequivalent studies and for the pivotal bioequivalent studies complete release is prime for simulation studies in the IVIVC. If you are not getting the complete release and if the dissolution stops at some point of release, for example, if the release is 50% or 60% and it is not increasing above that, then you cannot predict the IVIVC or you cannot correlate. In non sync condition, the medium saturation may be a problem and because of this media saturation the release will stop if media gets saturated then true dissolution rate cannot be determined for both ir and er formulations so once the media gets saturated then you will not observe the increase in the dissolution rate or the percent dissolved or percent release some of the molecules 
resolution stop at 70%, 80% or 90% and above that it is not yet increased. So for those resolution conditions, determining the specifications also become very much difficult because generally 80% release is required for IR formulations and three time points criteria is required for the extended release formulations. So it is important to have the sync condition. Extended release formulations are generally formulated with higher amount of API or higher dose of API compared to the immediate release formulation. And that's why the sync conditions become much more important for extended release, prolonged release and sustained release type of formulations. If you are not having the media with sync condition, then the release rate will become difficult. The release rate comparison will become difficult. Also, it will have lot of problem in the dissolution method development and in the QC release. Sync condition achievement is important for accurate dissolution results and comparisons. Sync is important for reproducibility and repeatability. If media gets saturated, then you will observe that sometimes you are getting release of 80%, sometimes you will get release of 40%, and dissolution variations will be there. You cannot get reproducible results. Dissolution with sync condition gets approved with minimum regulatory questions and query is on discriminatory power. So this is very much important to have the specification and the dissolution parameters or conditions which can get approved easily by the regulators. And if they found that the dissolution is with non-sync conditions then there will be lot of queries. Non-sync condition may lead to failure of batches. Non-sync condition may lead to over or under discrimination and if media get saturated then dissolution or release stops. That's why sync conditions are important. And now you will think how to achieve the sync conditions. So there are multiple ways like increasing the dissolution media volume. As you know that the solubility of API in particular volume is the reason for achieving and not achieving the sync condition. Like in plain Point on normal SCL, you are getting solubility of 0.5 mg per ml, for example. And if you are getting good solubility of 5 mg per ml, then the media volume is having impact along with the intrinsic solubility of the API. Sometimes Increasing the volume for 500 ml to 900 ml gives the good solubility and you can achieve the sink condition. Sometimes for poorly soluble or insoluble molecules, you may need surfactant and generally sodium lauryl sulfate. Polysorbates are used as the dissolution media surfactants. Surfactants help to increase the solubility and that's why you can achieve the sink condition. The importance of surfactants is depending on to the molecule intrinsic solubility. If the molecule is getting solubilized with lower concentrations of surfactant, then you will face less regulatory queries. Otherwise, if you are requiring more amount of surfactants, 
like higher than 1%, then you may face regulatory queries. As higher amount of surfactant use may lead to under discriminatory dissolution profiles. Then you can also increase the media volume and you can also use the surfactant. So combination of those parameters can be done to get the sink condition. So this is like importance of sink condition, how sink and non-sink condition affect the dissolution and method development and the QC testing. Non-sink condition can also be considered but for non-sync condition, proving the discriminatory power is very important and it becomes difficult. So always try to have the dissolution media with sync conditions. I hope you might have got understanding about the sync conditions, what are the importance of sync conditions and how non-sync conditions can be utilized and justified. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to Pharma Learning In Depth channel. Thank you.